Uh, hey guys. Right. I wanted to um the other day I'm gonna put this little LM eighteen seventy five circuit together and it works, it works quite nicely. Now I was running it off my little uh, my little power supply there, which is just switched off at the moment, and I give that little little quick flick look. I was I was running it off that, but it's a it's a single channel supply. So that's one configuration for this uh, LM uh, 1875. But you can also wire them up in dual dual configuration. So you've got a, a positive like 12 volts, let's say, and a negative 12 volts. Now I've not tried one like that, and I don't know. I'm presuming it's going to work better because if you've got a positive 12 volts and a negative 12 volts, you've got a lot more. Um, volts <laughs> you know uh, let's say you've got 24 volts let's say and that at the minute it would be splitting um, you know around about sort of ten and a half volts so I thought okay and there's a circuit pre-made in live wire which is basically what this circuit is here this is my one it is basically a copy of the one out of live wire I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna say I just sat there and, and thought it up because I didn't um, but this is that circuit and the difference that I've made is um, I've not put the fuse in I did put the fuse in to start off with um, and the double pole double throw switch I've left out as well just because well yeah good practice I suppose but just for me doing it and I spent hours with this last night playing around with this for hours for hours and it kept blowing the fuses so I ended up loading up the existing the 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 actual live wire circuit and I put the faults and explosions on that and it kept blowing the fuses as well so I put an ammeter in series here and it was like showing you know like 20 plus amps just just you know when you first turn it on just for a second and I presume that's because it needs like an inrush current limiter and so I put a um, thyristor yeah I put one of those in and that kept blowing as well so but I didn't quite know I can't do all the maths to work out the capacitances and work out exactly what it is it's gonna you know be doing so I just thought I'll leave them out and you know this it doesn't actually blow or anything and this is with the faults on and it doesn't actually blow it works away um, and so I thought okay well I will make this and I got this far I made my little bridge rectifier I sorted out my a toroid which I bought by mistake and finally I've got actual use for it because it's the it's pretty much the same as uh, as what's be used here. 240 volts in. It's got a 10 to 1 ratio, so we're talking like 25 volts out per side, which this one basically is. Um, it's supposed to be 24 volts a side. This is, but open circuits like that, 27. Um, you yeah, know, with no load on it. Um, but that will work out to be about the same. And so I've got myself a little bridge rectifier. Then this is only a one amp bridge. I'm gonna to have to dig out some more diodes and do a three amp. I'm gonna th th this will deal with three amps. I've got a three amp fuse in my um, block connector. I don't know what they call them, um, but it's a great great piece of kit. And that's also got a, a trip to hide it, as you can see down there. Even though if I make myself part of the circuit, it won't do anything. It will just not well, fry me. It will just think I'm the load. <laughs> um, but it has got some uses. So I managed to, um, I've got this far, uh, but <laughs> uh, what I didn't realise was I got no negative regulators. So I've got my 12 volt regulator there, and I need, a, I need a minus 12 volt regulator for here. Now I'm going to put another couple of caps in, and then a 5 volt regulator. But I don't really need the 5 volts, I only need the 12 volts anyway. So, but you see these little, um, these little green capacitors, these are 47 nanofarads. These are 47 mic, and these are 47 nanofarads. As as per 
the spec on there. Um, we got the uh, oh sorry no I got the 200 and, uh, 2200 microfarads and then I got the 47 nanofarads um, and then after the regulator I'm going to have uh, you know, 47 mic and a 47 nanofarad again but I haven't actually uh, done that bit yet but I didn't know how much voltage these were going to take and the last time what I did this and I didn't, I wasn't quite sure how much voltage um, a capacitor was going to take and I hadn't thought about it they exploded so I thought I'd share that this time because the last time when I did it it was fun for me but I wasn't recording it and then I had to do it again just so you know other people could have fun with it because I thought it was quite good so this time before I um, chuck this down I'm going to put my meter on now I was going to put this meter on because I always use this meter but for this I'm going to use this one because there's a built in meter on here and I've got these, uh, got these silicon leads. I'm going to pop that on there. And I'll pop that on the positive. So this should say sort of 12 volts out. Because we got the the earth coming through, uh, which is coming from the, um, the center tap. Oh, sorry. The earth is coming through the center tap of this transformer. 224 volts, you see. So I've joined up the, the, the center, so I should have... 24 aside, I got the center tap, and that goes in into ground. So that's going to come down, um, and it goes uh, between the two capacitors. You know where the two legs would touch here is where that ground is, and where the two legs would touch here is where that ground is as well. And that comes into the to the earth part of the the ground part of this um, uh, regulator. And here's the input from the from the live. Um, so and the one side goes into the bridge and the other side of course goes into the bridge as normal this is the negative out the back of the bridge and the positive out the front of the bridge so the positive here is going onto the, the positive rail on here and the negative is going to the negative rail on here and just from the middle of all this and from that uh, going to the, the ground here and the negative when it arrives Tuesday, should be here Tuesday, they say, um, that will also connect to the negative. So I'm going to put this down now and just sit back a little bit and see if anything goes bang. These are 50 volts each, they, they should be fine because they're only having to deal with 24 volts a side basically. So they should be fine, but I'm not sure what these are going to do. So hmm. let's give it a go. Okay, and over there, nicely, we've got 12.32 volts. It doesn't seem to be waving about too much, which is what I'd expect. And although over here it says 12.54, we're going to let it off. Um, just because, you know, there's going to be slight, a slight difference. But nothing's gone bang, <laughs> I'm quite surprised. Because uh, I sweat up. I don't know if you can see my hand, look, that's how nervous I get when I'm doing this, especially when it comes to the mains, because I'm scared of electricity. I'm scared, and I remember once being up in an attic and I touched the wire. Um, you know, I, I felt the jolt of electric, nothing that made me stick to it or anything, but it was still enough to um, make me um, leave some marks in my shorts. <laughs> So I'm quite chuffed. So that's one side of uh, one one side of uh, this 12 volt regula regulator, which is going to be quite good. And then what I've got to do then is I've got to rebuild this um, 1875. If I get this to work and it does work okay, what I'll end up doing is uh, I'll get another LM 1875. These are cheap ones from China, and I've already broken one of them. I don't think I've got any more. I think I only got two. I'll have to check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I only got two. But I'll get some from um, RS. Uh, you have to buy them in fives. Well, I'll have a look at a file now as well and see if I can just get a couple of cents out. But you get free, free um, delivery, you know, over a fiber, and it will cost ten pound plus um, plus the tax. Uh, so about twelve pounds for for um, five of them. But it'd be nice to have a little uh, anime 1875 amp because I've seen uh, I've been watching John Audio Tech uh, guy again, and you know he, he he likes these and 
I think if he thinks they sound pretty good, I'm going to go for that. And this one does actually sound pretty good, even though my connections are absolutely terrible. I've got a little, uh, little function generator there, and I connected that up. Maybe I could do that now. Maybe I could put a pause on this and do that now and show you how terrible these socket boards are. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So just get, let me get a pause on this. Uh, I'm going to pause on this. And I also wanted to say as well, if I don't know if you've noticed here, this is a Linux system that I'm using here now. I decided to take out my Windows 10 Pro, the hard drive from out my desktop, which is below that screen and stuff over there, and I put it directly into my laptop. I got the laptop to start configuring for the devices when it first started up. So it would basically, what it does is it, it realizes all the drivers are wrong and makes a, um, uh, like a log of all the drivers that it needs to put in there. So I let it do that for about five, 10 minutes. And then I took it out and then put it back into my desktop where it had all the lists for the updates for the drivers. Got it to do all the updates, all the, all the drivers, didn't install them. Took it back out of my desktop, put it into my laptop. Half hour later, I've got a Windows 10 Pro with all of my um, settings and you know installed programs and everything the way it was on my desktop. Now in my laptop, lovely. And then I thought, oh, I'm gonna stick out this new Ubuntu because I like Ubuntu, I like Linux, I like Fedora, Fedora Core, before Fedora um, and I thought I'd stick that in and see it all works and it's great absolutely great, so I spent hours last night in the front room watching the funny things on TV, well not watching it, like Johnny English and um, I, uh, when I did that and sat and played with it I'm waffling, you know, we want to listen to waffle we want to see uh, how the different connections make this sound terrible so just give me a second and I'll, and I'll, and I'll come back and show you that. <laughs> 